You know, people love it uh, when I ask about books. I don't know if, if uh, books, whether fiction, nonfiction, technical, or completely non-technical had an impact in your life throughout, if there's anything you would recommend, or even just mention as something that gave you an insight or moved you in some way. So, okay. <laughs> so I don't know if I mind. recommend, because in some sense you almost had to be Italian or to be such a scholar, but being Italian, one thing that really impressed me tremendously is the Divine Comedy. It is a medieval poem, a very long poem, mm -hmm. divided in three parts, Hell, Purgatory, and Paradise, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the non-trivial story of a middleman man gets into a crisis, personal crisis, and then out of this crisis, he purifies, makes a catharsis, purifies himself more and more and more until he's become uh, capable of actually meeting God, okay? And that is actually a complex story. So you have to get some very sophisticated language, maybe Latin at that point, right? we are talking about 1200s um, uh, Italy, right? Um, uh, in, uh, in Florence. And this guy instead, he chose his own dialect not spoken outside his own immediate circle, right? Um, um, a Florentine dialect. And actually, he, Dante really made Italian. Italian. He was, hmm. and, and so I said, how can you express such a sophisticated things and so this? And then the point is that these words that uh, nobody actually knew because they were essentially dialect. And plus a bunch of very intricate rhymes in which they had to rhyme the things. And turns out that by getting meaning from the things that you rhyme, you essentially guess what the world means, <laughs> and you invent Italian, and you communicate by almost osmosis what you want. Yeah. It's a miracle of communication. In a dialect, a very poor language, very unsophisticated, to express a very sophisticated situation. I love it. People who love it, and Italians and not Italian, but, but I, what, I, what I got of it is that, you know, very often, limitations are our strength. Because if you limit yourself at a very poor language, somehow you get out of it and you achieve even better form of communication if you're using a hyper-sophisticated literary language with lots of resonance from the prior books so that you can actually instantaneously quote. He couldn't quote anything because nothing was written in Italian before him. So I really felt that uh, limitations are our strength. And uh, I think that rather than complaining about the limitations, we should embrace them because l if we embrace our limitation, limited as we are, we find very creative solutions that people with less limitation we have, we would not even think about it. Oh, so limitation is a kind of superpower if you choose to yes. see it that way. <laughs>